Hi there folks, Joel Self, Outdoor Instructor here, and I just wanted to quickly uh, come back to one of the questions I was asked the other day. Can you use a rope access rigging plate in recreational climbing? And why isn't this seen more often if it is safe? Well, firstly, it's absolutely safe to use a rigging plate in recreational climbing. However, let's go back to the key word said there, rope access. So this is designed for heavy duty everyday work. And it's a heavy duty piece of equipment. There's some serious weight to that plate. And this entire setup, which is directly comparable to the one over here, both have got two points of contact with our rock or wobbly bit of wood. Both have got sling connections coming down and at the base of which is a master point. In our traditional rock climbing setup, that's formed by putting a knot in the end of the sling, which gives us these loops we can clip into. There's also the opportunity in this particular anchor to clip higher up in the shelf as well. On this other setup, we've got the rigging plate involved, which is kind of the big question here. Now this rigging plate brings everything together in a master point. We've got everything nicely equalized here, and we've got lots of options to clip bits of equipment in, just as we do with this one. Both have got a belay device on, but this setup weighs 1,500 grams, and this one weighs just 400 grams. So this is next to nothing compared to that. Now, it's not to say that this equipment is no good and has no practical use. It is rope access equipment, which means it's brilliant for hard, heavy duty use in an everyday sort of environment. So where the rope access technician is gonna go out off the side of the building, cleaning windows, working on wind turbines, or out on oil rigs. This equipment is amazing, but it is designed to be used day after day after day and to last a really long time without showing signs of wear. Whereas our recreational equipment is primarily designed to be as lightweight as possible, so that when we're making a sense of the mountain, we're not lugging around loads and loads of gear and we want to keep everything as multifunctional as possible. Now it's true, carabiners in both setups could be applied to different situations. Belay devices are obviously pretty much only used for belaying. Both of these have got extra features to them. This one's a guide plate. This one can be used in a sort of guide mode, could be used to belay conventionally, as this one could. Uh, and both can be used when ascending or descending a rope in an abseil slash ascent situation. Um, but the rigging plate is not multifunctional. Where are you gonna put this on your climbing route? Whereas a sling, we can wrap that around a tree, we can put it through a thread in the rock over a big block, but this heavy chunk of metal is only gonna have one use, and that's when we're building belays. So really, this is an extra bit of weight that we can avoid carrying just by sticking an extra sling on your shoulder. So I would much rather carry an extra sling than that big plate of metal. I hope that helps answer that question. It's a bit of an odd one and I appreciate there are times where as instructors we may use rigging plates, certainly on single pitch crags. If we've got a, a big group from a school, for example, coming to do a day of abseiling with us, we might well use one of these. But chances are we're not carrying it around with us. We'll go in the morning to the crag, set up, rig this into position, and then we'll run our abseil from there. Whereas this equipment is brilliant for light and fast ascents of big mountains or hard single pitch crags. That is the big difference between these bits of equipment. I hope that was helpful for you. I've been Joseph Outdoor Instructor. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.